Actually, Swaram has been uh, uh, given so much coverage in the press in the last couple of weeks. And we've been attacked incessantly, especially in the mainstream media uh, and uh, being investigated for our accounts, being investigated for our company registration and whether we are actually an NGO. Now, we are a little bit puzzled why we are suddenly being given so much attention by the government. So we are more than 100% convinced that this has definitely got to do with the stopping case. Definitely, because the, the expose and the information that has been revealed so far has actually made a lot of people in high office very, very uncomfortable. So maybe they think that one of the easiest ways to handle the case is to just close it down closes off. So as I mentioned just now, uh, it, it is actually an exercise in futility because we have been assured by the judiciary in France and the lawyers that are representing us in, in France that uh, the case goes on uh, irrespective of what happens to Swaram. So this whole thing about Swaram uh, being uh, exposed for its uh, receiving of foreign funds is actually a phenomena that happens globally across the world non-governmental organizations survive on global funding. They survive on global funding because the government of the day normally does not give them funding to carry out the work of democracy, the work of peace, the work of human rights. Uh, so it is actually funding that um, is very legitimate. It's from foundations that are above the, above the board and there is absolutely nothing to question Swaram. In fact, we have audited accounts which are externally audited by auditors uh, every year, almost every year we have audited accounts. So, and it's actually uh, money that's coming through Bank Negara. So what, what is the scandal? Where is the suspicion? And then why now? Why suddenly? Why after? trying to get at. Uh, but we are very concerned that this is actually a crackdown on civil society, that this is a, an opportunity for the government to actually narrow, uh, make more narrow the democratic space in our, uh, in, in our country. Already the democratic space is quite small and uh, by, by attacking Swaram, you're actually attacking the work of democracy, you're attacking the work of democracy, and you're at attacking the work of human rights. But just in closing, I just wanted to say that the more you try and kill the messenger, the message gets louder. So we believe the government is just going completely on the wrong track. And Swaram receives very, very small funds. There were ROS officials, the Registrar of Society officials, uh, that came into the office trying to uh, hand over a notice to investigate Swaram. Uh, now we are questioning why is the ROS coming to investigate us when we are not registered under them. We are quite clearly registered as a company under the Registrar of Companies. So what is the business of ROC in actually coming over to Swaram to, uh, to, uh, to raid the office and to actually seize documents and seize files and investigate, and, and investigate uh, the organisation. So we have always maintained that the Registration Swara Initiative is Swaram and so we have never hidden the fact that we are registered as a company. Based on our audited account, it shows that we are registered as a non-profit uh, company and we have always operated that way. So uh, we pose the question back to the authorities and to the government, what really is the motive of ROS in coming over to the office like that and, uh, and behaving like rogues, behaving like gangsters and like thugs, screaming, shouting at our staff actually insisting that the notice get, get, gets handed over. Now, this is really not the way. This is really not the way. There's always a better way to do it. You can, you can send in a letter, uh, you can talk to our lawyers. And we have, for the record, fully cooperated with uh, the company's commission. So many of our staff and our directors and our volunteers have actually been summoned to the company's commission uh, for investigation. We have never said no to a single one. We have actually cooperated with them fully. Uh, and without without uh, any obstacles, we've given them all the documents that they wanted. So why the, the gangster style, the rogue style, and actually coming and, and shouting and, and screaming? So uh, in short, this is really a bully tactic. This is really about authorities with their 
very powerful machinery bullying uh, small non-governmental organizations and trying to threaten them into uh, falling silent.